Welcome back to the No Morning Show. Yes, yes, that was Kari attempting to DJ and doing a poor, poor job at it. Um, but with me this morning, <laughs> I, get, I get thrown completely off. This morning, we're discussing a brand new digital calendar by the Ministry of Sport and Community Development. And to help me discuss that, I want to say good morning and welcome to Gabriel Hesu Maktir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. How are you? You're the Director of Physical Education and Sport yes. at the Division of the Ministry of Sport and Community Development. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Well, the, the Physical Education and Sport Division. The Physical Education and Sport Division. Yes. Okay. Um, this calendar, well, first of all, what has the Ministry of Sport and, and Community Development been doing, you know, since this pandemic situation has hit? Because, mm. I mean, uh, sport has definitely been one of those things that's been heavily affected yes. by the pandemic. Yeah, um, I, I, I can speak more to the sport division side or the physical education and sport division side. And uh, what we have been doing is uh, trying to develop programs. Um, we have a couple of programs, uh, the Pink Green Campaign, <coughs> which is a program for the empowerment of women through sport okay. and the development of, of women in sport. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also have the community sport program that um, we are looking to to have implemented hopefully this year. So we have been going through the planning stages. We're not the approval um, phase, and we hope to have those implemented very soon. Uh, those programs will be more virtual. So all our programs that may have been um, looked at from a sort of in-person standpoint mm -hmm. has now been um, converted to a more digital platform. Yeah, and integrated virtually. How has the reaction been from the, the people the people who partake we, in these? Well, we had, a, we had a, a bit of a, if you want to say a dry run, uh, an, an impromptu dry run mm -hmm. of, a, of some coaching courses, a coaching course and a sports administration course, and it was, they lapped it up. I mean, people in, the community, people in the communities were very, very happy to get some sort of um, interaction with sport, even though from the, it was from the, from the capacity building perspective. Right. And um, it was very, very well received. So we, we ve definitely hope as we get the approvals to, to launch forward hard mm -hmm. in terms of making sure we can at least get community engagement in some way, shape or form. What is the, what is the goal and the role of the ministry? Or the, the physical mm -hmm. education and sport division? Well, the basic role of the, the physical education and sport division is to facilitate the development of sport uh, in communities and, and as per the national sport policy 2017 to 2027 mm -hmm. uh, the idea is to look at it from two broad themes being sport development or development of sport rather and sport for development All okay right? so the, the, just to see if I just to clarify the difference uh, sport development speaks to the development pathway that an athlete will go through so that's the actual from, physical training. Right, to go from foundation to right. the elite level. Okay. All right? You could start from physical education or start from sport in the communities right. um, at a young age and you develop through a long-term athlete development pathway right. to high performance slash elitism. Mm -hmm. um, the sport for development is the, is the usage of sport as a medium by which it is we can develop the, the, the communities and citizens of this country economically um, in terms of their physical uh, well-being as well but um, facilitating um, community development, which is why the merger of mm -hmm. sport and community Makes development sense. is excellent. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. All right, so tell me about this digital sport calendar. Right. Um, the digital sport calendar was um, conceptualized by the Ministry of Sport and Community Development, and um, it would have been launched on the 8th of January, mm -hmm. which would have been Friday, basically. And um, it's Trinidad and Tobago's first ever comprehensive digital sport calendar. As you know, the... One of the, the um, government's national development goals agendas would be the digitization yeah. of um, various aspects Everything of our say. operations. Well, Everything. Well, yeah. Eventually, and as COVID has more or less shown, Forced us to. it can hardly be everything. Yeah. Right? So um, this is one way in which the Ministry of Sport and Community Development is supporting that agenda. Mm -hmm. right? And um, this calendar is... It, it's, it's going to be used as a means of providing information to the public mm -hmm. and um, giving them a, a greater understanding as to what the Ministry of Sport and Community Development is about, what, uh, at least from the sports side, yeah. and what um, our activities, at least proposed activities through the national governing bodies will mm -hmm. be for the year 2021. Of course, that depends greatly on how this pandemic rolls out. Naturally. We know everything is constantly changing. Yes. So just to be clear... In the calendar is going to be information that the ministry is involved in yes. and, the, and the bodies that yeah, are directly related to, bodies, yes. to, the, to the ministry. Yeah, you have our programs, you have um, a calendar. The calendar is more so 
about the national governing bodies programs right. um we have uh, quite a, a, a list of programs that i mean we were able to get confirmed mm -hmm. uh, at least from their plans but as i said it has been a difficult year to plan for exactly yeah, so but because it's mm -hmm. digital is it possible for the for the calendar to change so like if i of go to course. see it now it can change and yeah of course um the calendar is, is organic in right. its nature so um we actually have had to make a couple changes, changes. i mean an apology to any of the the national governing bodies or persons within the who have been featured in the calendar um if it is we made any errors we'll get those things fixed soon just contact our contact <laughs> your your um ngb liaison <laughs> and we'll fix that up but um ultimately the the yeah we have had to make some changes very quickly between the eighth and now right. and that has done very well in terms of making sure that we keep the information updated updated and of course in the future it keeps the information fresh where can we see this calendar uh, the calendar, you can find it on the Ministry of Sport and Community Development's website, which is mscd.gov.tt. mscd.gov.tt. That's yes. Ministry of Sport and Community Development. Yes. MSCD. Mm -hmm. Easy Dot enough. .tt. Dot Easy gov. Enough. .tt. Yep. All right, then you go to that website and you can just navigate through yes. to find the... Yeah. It, it probably should be the first thing you meet up, though, because, of course, it's a feature right now. Right so, now, obviously, yeah. um, it's likely to be the first thing you meet up when it is you go onto the site. Okay, so the, the, I, the idea behind the calendar is mm -hmm. to be able to give people just information about what they can access. Yes, um, what they can access. Um, from the ministry and from the governing and bodies. And from the governing bodies in terms of at least knowing what their plans and programs are. Mm -hmm. It also gives information with respect to sport facilities, where right. our sport facilities are, how to contact our sport facilities. And those will be the facilities um, both on the Ministry of Sport and Community Development side as well as those under the purview of the sports company of Trinidad and Tobago. Right. Um, it also gives a, a, a feature on sports company and what they do, as well as the Trinidad and Tobago Olympic Committee, because those two organizations are our, our two main stakeholders mm -hmm. when it comes to sport and sport development. So um, it, it does cover a fairly wide um, gamut of information, I think, and um, it, it does provide the, 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 the onlooker or the person who is actually interacting with the platform with a very user-friendly very very attractive way very aesthetic okay. way of being able to get information on sport in trying to be right now and if i were a part of a private sporting company or, or mm -hmm. sporting organization and i wanted to get my information published in my calendar is that possible ah that's a question for the communications unit <laughs> but um <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't say that I can't say that at this point in time, but I, I'm pretty sure um, we will be open to having yeah. those sorts of this. I'm just thinking of you know, we, if we talk in community development, and we talk in yes. development for sport and, mm -hmm. and sport for development, mm -hmm. you know, I think it makes sense to have everything in one place. Yeah. So if people can just bring the information, and you guys just incorporate it into the yeah. digital calendar as we go forward. But then again, the, the, the communications unit does have um, a, a very extensive plan of. Um, marketing the ministry but also marketing sport right. in general so i'm pretty sure once those ideas come to us they will be incorporated into the the, the plan of the communications unit rodel please don't you know, <laughs> tell me plans rodel are sorry rodel are sorry i'll force him i'll force, I force his hand rodel are sorry i'm uh, sorry in advance all right but um gabriel this is fantastic though yes. i think i think that um we, i look forward to see more from the ministry in terms of you know continuing to do the digital digital work yes um and i applaud you guys on this calendar i think it's a great step in the right direction definitely thank you very much for joining us this morning not a problem sharing thank the information you guys go check it out it's on the website mscd.gov.tt i've been chatting with gabriel Hesu McTeer, <laughs> <laughs> director of the physical education and sport division at the ministry of sport and community development we're going to take a quick break and we come back. Remember, we said that today was Helen's birthday. Helen, happy happy birthday to you. And we didn't show the picture before, but gonna, we're going to show the picture going to the break. Can we do that? Can we? Can we? <laughs> before Sayo gets in trouble this morning. Happy birthday to you, Helen. <laughs> love, love, and more love. Let's take a quick break and come back with so much more in our morning show. <laughs>